something's nearly rustic. And I'm back with my buffet. If you remember last time, we painted the buffet in Kentucky paint, and the color is called Sage Green. Um, I've gone ahead, I put two coats on this, and now we're gonna do one of my most favorite things. Uh, it's all my favorite thing, but this is the one thing that I love to do, which is distress my furniture. Now, country shake makes it very easy to distress your furniture. With this piece, I put a black paint underneath. And as you can see, I already started to distress here. And see that black coming through? I would like that instead of wood coming through. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to distress chalk paint easily with just a microfiber cloth. Now, this is a damp cloth and um, I've already gone ahead and damped it. I have my mister just in case, you never know. But I will show you how easy and simple it is to distress this piece. Now, I have a bunch of plant things planned for today's tutorial. After we're done distressing, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna redesign it with Redesign with Prima. Also one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so like I said, this is a damp cloth. Don't make it wet, just damp. This will also help if you have any lines in your, in your paint, it will help reactivate the paint to smooth the lines down more. So I'm gonna go along the edges here, and like I said, I've already started up here. So I'm gonna start doing this door to show you guys what I mean. And so why I've layered it with the black paint underneath is because I want this to come through, the black to come through. So it's kind of an up, upgraded way um, to make your furniture a little bit rustic. You don't have to press hard. I suggest you don't press very hard. But see how that black is coming through very nicely here? This is called wet distressing. Super easy to do. This has been drying for over a day now. Um, but it hasn't, hasn't been sealed or anything like that. And it can be reactivated like what I'm doing with, with just a wet cloth. Um, sometimes, depending on the distressed look that I want, sometimes I will use a sanding pad. But for the most part, this is how I distress my furniture. Super easy. I like to make sure I have all the lines, all the lines distressed. Now, I want this to look very rustic and very, very farmhouse, except I also want it to look like a piece of art and really elegant at the same time. So, next up, uh, we're going to put some transfers and we're going to put some nice stencils on the side here. But first, I'll speed you guys up and I'll show you the uh, I'll show you how I do it. Transfer on it. Um, I accidentally forgot 
forget to press play, but I did do a tutorial that's not in there, but I do have a time lapse in there so you can see how I've done it. I've, I've um, put the transfer on the front. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use the sides. This transfer, or this stencil is large. And it doesn't say exactly what, oh yeah, it's um, 18 by 25.5, so it's quite large. I have cut it on the sides so that it will fit the side of this buffet. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some tape on there so that they will stick. What we're putting the stencils on with today is, we are using a chalk paint, and it is just, it's a Rust-Oleum chalk paint, and it will work perfect for the top here. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, tape it on with some painter's tape, the stencil. Like I said before, I have cut it prior to this. So we're just gonna put it on like that. So I wanted it to fit perfectly. Now, um, I'm putting chalk paint over chalk paint. Uh, and using using the new CC Restyle by Redesign with Prima, or sorry, Redesign with Prima CC Restyle Gothic Trellis. So we're just using a white paint, a white paint to go over top of this. I also have a roller by Redesign with Prima. Uh, the roller is super helpful. To distribute the paint evenly. You can also use a paintbrush. Use your discussion, but I just put a little bit of paint in a Tupperware container here or a, a Ziploc container. So I just put a little bit of white paint on the roller. Redesign with Prima sells these rollers. You can also get those on their website. So I'm just rolling it gently and whatever I don't feel, whatever I don't get, I'm going to go in with a paintbrush. So uh, I'm going to see how this looks. I'm not sure if I'm going to distress it or not. We will see, but I love how this stencil is coming out. So as you can see, I've only, I've only did my paint in once. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of paint for these rollers. They hold a lot of paint, like a super lot of paint. Now I'm just gonna take a little brush here. And I just do the edges. And there you go, guys. That is how the side looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the other side. for this buffet.